Hi everyone, my name is Margo and I'm going to show you around my apartment today. So just a little bit about myself, I am a singer-songwriter living in Bushwick, Brooklyn and I live here with my partner Omer. It's a small two-bedroom. We had a huge leak when we moved in and we've also had a few mouse incidents. But other than that, it's been really, really a wonderful apartment. We're starting in the living room. This is kind of like the central part of our space. This is essentially a big open square where we have to sort of fit our dining, living, and workspace. We sort of started thinking about this room by making our first big purchase, which was this couch. Um, I bought it at Article, which is a Canadian furniture company. It's velvet, and we kind of went with a pretty bold color. I think it sort of sets the tone for this room. The next thing that we got was this geometric rug. Um, I knew I wanted something that was abstract and that hinted at the colors of our couch. So this kind of brought in some new colors into play with the like grays and the blues. Uh, once we figured out where we were going to place the couch, uh, pretty much the rest of the room fell into place. So um, over here, I'll show you. This is our little work area. So since Omar and I are both musicians, we sometimes uh, are working to, uh, at the same time. So we needed a space separate from our studio space. This uh, desk is an old desk that I had for my Ikea, and uh, I'm a big fan of it. It's pretty simple looking. And then this chair, uh, my old roommate actually found. It's um, in that sort of like mid-century style. Uh, and I, I really, really love this chair, so. That's our little work area. I will bring you over here to our like book and record nook. Um, this area also fell into place pretty easily because Omar owned this lamp and I owned this old little record stand that I found at a Goodwill in Queens. I would say the most important parts of this little area are um, Appa, here we go. <laughs> from Last Airbender, and uh, we've also got Ruth Bader Ginsburg bobblehead. So those are kind of the, the main accoutrements. This is our little dining area. Um, we're still kind of putting the pieces together here. Uh, I have this old circus poster uh, from found in my grandfather's old office. He was very into circuses and he was also a certified clown. I knew I wanted to do something with it over the dining room table. Uh, this table is also an Ikea purchase. It's super old, um, but I haven't been able to get rid of it because it has so much amazing storage. And it also folds open so that you can seat six people pretty comfortably. These chairs are vintage David Rowland chairs that I found at Reuse America, which is like a secondhand furniture store in Bushwick. They came pretty beaten up, but I worked on them a little bit. I painted them. I spray painted them the colors that I thought might kind of work nicely with our bar cart and the poster. Then we've got this bar cart, which has held up for a while now, and it's just nice for holding all of our glassware. And then this little crate is from Hay. Um, I love these colored crates. I think they make a really nice statement and they're super functional. The last thing I'd like to show you in the living room is my favorite piece, which is this bookshelf. Uh, we got this at Furnish Green. It's secondhand and we actually asked the people at Furnish Green where it was from and they said it was built for a Macy's display case. We actually were, had planned to paint it, but in the end, we really liked the raw plywood look. So it's been fun just to kind of decorate it and use it as a bookcase and kind of display case. Um, okay, so next I will show you the kitchen. The kitchen has been probably the biggest project in terms of um, making it look nicer 
The floor originally uh, was this like disgusting linoleum, like brown marble vibe. So I bought these vinyl tiles. They're stick-on, so you just order them and just stick them onto the floor. You can usually get them at like Lowe's. It was a lot simpler than I thought it would be, so I think that gives it a nice update. I installed a bunch of lights in here because it's pretty dark with just this one overhead light. So we installed an LED light for above the cabinetry, which I think really brightens the room. And then we also installed these battery powered uh, lights to go under the cabinets. I got this amazing stick on tile. Uh, I found it somewhere online but it's pretty easy to find. And I thought when I first got it, it would look horrible, but I went ahead, stuck it on, and I think it came out pretty well, um, just to kind of give it a backsplash and just make things look prettier and brighter. Um, next, we have our little hallway. Another favorite piece of mine is this uh, IKEA shoe storage. Uh, System. I don't know what else to call it, but it was super easy to put together and it's really sleek and a really nice place to like put your keys or you know anything that you need to drop off when you come inside and it has an incredible amount of storage so we have like tons of shoes in here we have like one section for umbrellas um, so that's been really really great the next thing I will show you is the bathroom I love this bathroom it just we didn't have to do very much in here just because it's got that like amazing old like pre-war tiling situation and a big huge window. I found this really cool geometric shower curtain um, and this I think really brightens the room and looks really simple against this black and white. So this is from Society6. Okay, last thing to show you, uh, our little music studio. Um, so we're still sort of in the process of putting everything together. For example, I really want to get a small bench for right here if someone comes in to record or if you just need to kind of hang out in the studio and listen from a different area. So that's one thing I really want to purchase. But we went ahead and did like an accent wall. I think it brightens the room. It's a relatively dark room because we only have one window that looks out into like a, an alley. We hung a bunch of instruments on the wall and I'm also really happy with this very simple, sleek uh, black bookshelf that we bought. Um, again, I'm using these hay crates uh, just for organizing things. Um, and this is like our main area where we can grab our equipment and it's pretty easy to find things. Um, last thing I'll show you, we have these shelves that we installed. I painted them the same color as these walls. Um, just to kind of give another, another hint of color. I think that's about it. Oh, I'll show you one more thing. I found these really, also Society6, I found these really cool ferrets listening to music coasters. Really happy about them. Um, so I think that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for, uh, you know, tuning in. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.